So if you are looking for an extremely cool spot to build at that's extremely safe, Patch 15 has just added a new underground build spot. This is the cabin where you find the lamp blueprint that was just added. And where I'm at, if you look at the GPS, I'm on the northeastern side of the island. And if you start at the golf course, make your way south, you see the three caves. Two of them are the entrance exit to cave F and the one on the coast is cave G. Now you can build underground there at cave G. I did a video a week or two ago, but this spot I actually like better. And if you're using console commands, you can do go to 1481 space 85 space 72 and it'll take you straight to this cabin. I've tore out the floor here and one thing at this spot, if you want to be able to find your way back home, you're going to have to put a GPS tracker because the bed will not show up underground. Now with cave G, if you choose to build there, it's not an issue because the cave will always show up. So you don't really need to see your bed. So let me go down here and show you what the underground looks like. So this spot I like better because of the op it's more open floor plan. The other spot is kind of divided into two rooms. But look how these lamps really light up the place. I'm glad they added this because it adds a lot of lighting to the walls and the floor. The spotlights do really good up top on the ceiling. And you can still see, but I just like the lamps. So I've got an item plater right here. And I want to show you a couple of things. So let me turn this on. Now, the first thing is, is you can put rain collectors underground. And if it's raining outside, it will collect water. And I'm not sure the physics on that, but it works. So, of course, when you activate this, you'll get a thunderstorm. And then also it'll bring in enemies. So it'll bring in some creeps. And these underground spots are really good hiding places because enemies will not come in in underground they usually won't even try to come in the cabin i mean they can don't get me wrong and if you egg them on they will uh, try to get down but they'll usually get stuck on the walls and uh, the last video i called in a bunch of henry's which are the aggressive cannibals and they would chase you for a little bit but then they would kind of get sidetracked so they're not really a threat wow i've got two john twos that's rare i don't know where he's going so I'll give them a second. They might, uh, the puffsters, they might try to come in here. But see, they kind of run in and then they the walls kind of prevent them from doing anything. I'll give it another second. See if they want to come down. But anyways, uh, this spot would be good for, you know, probably like a live spot. You could put, you know, your weapon racks and stuff like that in here and I think cave G would be better for like your food storages and stuff and I'm gonna show you some resource areas here in just a second I was gonna give them a second but you can see like they're all around outside and I haven't had anybody come try to come in here and of course you could build walls around this and put doors you know if you wanted to be like hundred percent safe I just like the open floor plan I like the look of the cabin myself so anyways let me go up top of course you can build a roof and put your solar panels up here uh, you need one solar panel runs three spotlights just FYI so anyways let's remove these enemies I think I've kind of proven my point as far as the uh, safety goes and so anyways you can build a roof and place your solar panels on top of this structure. You just kind of got to play around with the log placement, but it will work. And let me show you the waterfall that's close by. So let me do, make it nighttime real quick. So here's uh, nighttime now. Of course, the uh, wall torches, you can add, put these, place them on trees now. And I really like that in my update video. I mentioned like it's going to make navigation a lot easier at nighttime. I mean, look at this. You can just kind of line the trail. But I'm going to take you to the big waterfall. Ooh, I don't want to be irking and jerking. Let me buff those stats. Okay, here we go. Um, this is the big waterfall. Uh, this next to the lake. And if you know the area, you know that there's uh, two big cannibal camps up here. So 
you could actually trap this area up here. It, you know, if you're a fan of Greg's stew, which I am, it's uh, yummy to the tummy, definitely. So you would have a good little farm area. Surprised I haven't come across any cannibals. So you can see the waterfall through the trees there. And I'll make it daytime once I get up here. Let's see if there's any goobers. So... Across the lake here is where the cannibal camps are. You can see it kind of off in the distance. So you could set some traps up here. And there's just a lot of trails around here. So let me take you to Cave G. I want to show that off. So if you're using console commands, you can do go to uh, 1692 space 30 space 1046. And it'll take you outside of the cabin. These are the three fishing cabins. Again, patch 14 added this underground cave. So I've tore through here. And oh, I'm getting hung on something. And this is a different server. Uh, I just did wall torches in here, but I've got a couple of rain collectors you can see. Uh, they've already collected some water for me. And I've got some drying racks. And I've got a couple of storage bins now. Kelvin, I'm going to... I don't see Kelvin nearby. He can actually build these blueprints, but for some reason, like, so Kelvin will not come down here, unfortunately. So you can't have you, you know, a little snuggle bunny down here with you. Uh, but he will build the blueprints through the ground. He just won't fill these up. And I'll go up here real quick and show you. I'll have to add a Kelvin in here. So there's Mr. Kelvin, and let's put him on maintain base. And let me put something over here. Just to show you that he will build this. Um, let's do this. Let's do a rain collector. So He's not going to be able to find that turtle shell, but... Uh, You'll be able to get some sticks, I bet. So my previous build at this spot, I put the roof. Uh, you can build roofs on top of these cabins and put your solar panels up there. And like I put a lot of spotlights on the beach and all that. But on this one, as I started exploring around, I found this pretty cool little lake up here. That's why I mentioned that you might use this for like food storage. Because once we get up here, you can, uh, there's this pretty good size little lake. And you can put you some fish traps in here. I think I've got a couple in here. So yeah, oh, that's full of fish. And then got one over here. But let's see if I've got any goobers running around. Pull out my binoculars. So I'm surprised there's some deer. You, Usually this lake is a popular watering hole for enemies. I'm surprised. I think this is the first time that I've been up here that I haven't seen somebody taking a sip of water. A lot of deer around. Maybe the deer are scaring. Oh, there's one. See? I knew it. There's another one. So you could build some traps up here, you know, get your Greg stew on, you know, like a boss. So that's why... And, you know, these areas... I know I fast traveled. I would say you could build like, you could zip line here. It might take about six uh, zip lines. I mean, that's that's the distance between these the two spots that I've just shown you. I mean, you could walk there too. You could, uh, the unfortunately, there's not like a solid trail that goes to that. The trails kind of break off and zigzag. Kelvin, come on, place it. Show show the audience what you can do. Voila. So he just actually places the stuff through the through the ground. And you can see he eh, got a couple of sticks. He won't find that turtle shell. But for some reason, uh, I gave him some time. He will not fill the holders up. So, oh, well. I mean, you can always build them, you know, put the stuff up here if you would like. So, yeah, I um, think that's about it. That's all the things I wanted to show you guys. Like I said, this is a very cool area to build in. 
just now that you have these two underground spots so close by. So anyways, hopefully uh, this helps you out. Hopefully you enjoy it. Let me know what I messed up or missed, or if you want me to play around, experiment around with something else here. Uh, anyways, I always try to uh, think ahead and think of all the cool ideas. So let me know if you would like to see something else here. Anyways, thank you for watching and hope to catch you in the next video.